Hey guys, Affinity here. I want to make a quick tutorial on how to set up Breakaway Live, which is uh, an alternative to virtual audio cable uh, for those of us that are streaming that do not want um, things like Mumble Audio or Ventrilo or TeamSpeak or Skype or whatever program you use from from playing over your stream, but you still want things like uh, music or your, your in-game audio or what have you. Uh, I'm going to include a link to the download page and I'm going to assume that uh, you follow that. So I'm not going to show you how to download it. Uh, once you have downloaded it uh, and install it, you're going to see this lovely guy. Uh, the IO configuration window and this is what you want your IO configuration window to look like breakaway pipeline 2 into breakaway pipeline 1 and then breakaway pipeline 1 to your USB audio device or your sound card or whatever you're using in my case it's the Scarlett 2i2 USB um, my sample rate on the far right side I've got everything set to uh, well this should be 48,000 as well. So 48,000 across the board for my sample rate. Uh, buffer size, you're going to want to toy with. I, I think by default it runs 441 and 480, um, but I've got mine down to 192 and 240, so you have to toy with that. Uh, the lower the buffer size, the less latency involved in it, but uh, if you put it too low, then you're going to get audio pops and crack crackles and whatnot, so you're going to want to uh, toy with that. So 192, 240 is a safe bet. Uh, 441 and 440 is pretty safe as well. That's the default, and you're not really going to notice uh, uh, any real difference uh, between the two, but th this is what I'm running at. So once you have this set up, everything else uh, should look the same uh, here. Um, I don't remember if checking SRC on the far right side really does anything or not, but I've got it off, so I don't think that affected much of anything. Uh, you can check start with computer if you want to. Uh, in my specific case, I don't have it because I use another program uh, along with this for my own personal audio processing, um, which I might get into in a later video. Uh, core 1 through 4 broadcast mode. Make sure it's on broadcast mode. Uh, a viewer installed this, set it to speaker mode, and they were having issues with it. So set it to broadcast mode, uh, and then hit finish. Now once you do that, you're going to get, uh, well there's going to be two of these, but there's only one because uh, the other one's hidden at the moment. Um, but you're going to want to find both of these. They're going to be different colors. One's going to be a green and one's going to be a blue. So you're going to want to open the settings on both of these and make sure that bypass processing is checked. Now, if you don't have bypass processing checked, then these things like plutonium, reference classical, reference jazz, etc., that'll add a lot of audio uh, enhancements to it, but that will enable this uh, audio file to play every... 30 minutes or so that says you're using Breakaway Live. So if you bypass processing and set it up like I showed you, uh, then everything else will will work uh, as I showed you. Peak reference level is just a volume control. You can toy with that, get it where you want it. So once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close out of all of this, and you're going to want to open your sound so you know you uh, right-click on your sound thing uh, and go from there. Keep in mind there's also going to be a thanks for evaluating Breakaway Live. It's a trial version, blah, blah, and then it's got like a buy and OK button down by your time in the bottom right corner. Just hit OK. You'll only see that once the, uh, every time you start up Breakaway Live, so just hit OK, uh, and that goes away. Now here's how you want to have your, your playback set up. Breakaway Line 2. Set this as your default device. Default device for this, and then Line 1 default communication device. Um, now this way, Mumble automatically goes off of your default communication device, but uh, it's a safe bet to also go into your settings and just make sure that you have mumble set to uh, audio output line one. Hit OK, and there you go. Now uh, you have better real-time audio, uh, less latency than virtual audio cable. Uh, you don't have to run an obnoxious bat file every time you want to start it up. You don't have to do the listen device deal, which adds a lot of additional latency. Uh, it just works. Uh, now, if you want to pay for it, it is $129. You don't have to pay for it. Uh, the trial version works just like the full paid version, except for the processing. If you toy with the processing and you decide it sounds really nice and you want to keep using that, uh, feel free to go ahead and pay for it. I think it's an awesome software. It's definitely worth the money, uh, and it's obviously great to uh, support the developers. At any rate, uh, it does work free with the trial. Uh, again, just the uh, the bottom right corner message when you start Breakaway Live, and then everything else works fine. It doesn't play the audio file like it says it does, unless you have processing uh, turned on. So line two, line one, line one to USB device. Uh, line two is your default device, and line one is where you want to point all of uh, your mumble and, and things of that nature that you do not want on stream. So again, here's the IO configuration window. And this is right about where you want it set up. Toy with the buffer size, figure out what you want to use, use what's comfortable and, and what produces the best results, and enjoy.